Oh, hey, Morgan. Welcome to the United States of America. Anyway, I know I'm not... My power's out. That explains why the... the I'm using the stove as heat at the moment. Well, not power. The, the heater's out. Sorry. Anyway, this is how a water hammer works. Basically like this. Find a spot where a rock. Like that's the best we're gonna be able to do. You don't want any in the pot, that's not how it works. There's math for this, there's actual ways you can figure out how to do this. I'll get her to do it, I've gotta need to do it before accidentally. And I've sat there and watched it just go for hours. Shit, now I feel kind of like a bird. There we go. There it goes. Come on, baby. Do it for my friends. Show magician ancient technology. Come on, there you go, there you go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. No, no, come on. Come on, girl. Please, God, Father Almighty, please allow me to show them the ancient secrets of the Israelites that allowed us to build the pyramids for the Egyptians. Come on, I'm just trying to show them how a water hammer works. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it this way, and I'll show you concept. First, got to have suction. You need to have this thing built built up because what's happening is the water <clears throat> is draining under, going to the drain and creating a suction, right? But at the same time, the water has buoyancy, so it's lifting up the vessel. So what'll happen is it'll lift up, the water will come through, boom! It'll lift up, the water will come through, boom! It'll lift up, the water will come through, boom! It's called a water hammer. There we go. Come on, baby. There it goes. There it goes. It's doing it. It's not my hand. Come on, baby. Show my friends. I want the UFO guys to think I'm cool, too. Come on, baby. And it's not, we didn't use a pot and a sink, but yeah, it's a similar concept. No, Morgan, I'm glad I'm making this video for you only. I'll go ahead and get her going one of these times because I've gotten it going in the same before. We're sitting there going, warm, 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 warm. And you can actually hear the sound it makes, which is pretty fucking cool because it proves what people were saying back in the day that they would go around the pyramids and they would hear the initial hammers to power up and then the big hammer they hear, boom, boom, boom. They had powered everything. Well, yeah, that's how it worked. The um, the water draining through from the water hammer would go down exactly what you've seen in those videos, where it'll filter down through the pyramid and into the reservoirs below, right? And that creates a electrostatic charge. Then you have the fact that all these perfectly cut megalithic stones are all set exactly away to create that charge running all together with them, and then capped on the sides, right? With um, non crystal electric materials, uh, dia, diatomically aligned, there, yeah, diatomically aligned materials, right? And so when that's happening, it's all filtered through, and all these rocks are humming anyway, all of a sudden you have the water going by, lifting this up, and then going, boom, 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 boom. 
why the little handlers, little water hammers, which are nowadays are called ram pumps, while the ram pumps are elevating water up into the pyramid. <clears throat> and what's even really, really good about this is that you also had what's called a water ladder. Now I'll have to draw for you how a water ladder works and show you, but that's why I was gathering videos for you about electrostatic frequency. Because you can actually literally get water to go up a slide. If you vibrate it at the right frequency and the water is shaped the right way. I mean, we find all these things that we swear are pieces of armor and whatnot, and they have this um, water kind of shape on the bronze, and they don't realize that things like that used to be water ladders, and when the society went away, people cut it up and used it as armor. And the idea of having that shape is that if you vibrate it and it's hot, the water will literally go uphill and into the pyramid which is great, and it doesn't take very much energy to do it. What would happen is you'd have a water wheel. The water wheel would be going like this as in, okay, let's just start with this. You remember how the pyramid would, would be like this and you'd have this border around the edges that we find? Well, the, the Nile used to flow through there. The water would come over that bridge when it got high enough, turning the, the water wheel, which would add energy, to put the water up the water slide while you had several ram pumps for the spill, then pumping it up into the pyramid, creating a dry area, a wet area, while the water flowed through, while smaller water hammers and ram pumps created the boom, 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 and then all of a sudden, boom, boom, like this whole table and water, we're all going at once. Because part of the power is being created by it. You have this flow of water here, and you have that weight of the water. So not only is the weight of the water suddenly going boom, but you have all that water below that was funneling down into that pyramid suddenly going stop, go, stop, go, stop. So not only are you shaking that whole pyramid, not only are you shaking that whole water, you're creating a, I guess, you know, in sci-fi we call it subspace, but you're creating electrostatic frequency, which is not electromagnetism, it's electrostatic. You're creating electrostatic frequency, and what that does is make it to where you can transport energy basically worldwide. And that's why you have the globe and you have this line of pyramids three times over with three different buildups of society. Because that's how it is they created free energy for themselves, the worldwide electrostatically. You know, I discovered this by accident, so maybe oh. See how it's both floating and wanting to pull? Come on, baby. Come on, I'm gonna look cool for Morgan. I'll make another video when I can actually get it to do it. I'll sit here, I'll just tool around with it for like an hour until it does it, and then I'll, I'll edit the video. Because the water hammer they were using was oblong and shaped like this, and was specifically designed to treat the hole like a dick. Going wham, 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 so it could never have complete suction but almost. And why they did that was to raise the RPM. It didn't make it stronger. It made it to where they could operate machines more quickly. And if you would like um, me to also do a follow-up video to show you the machines that they operated with that frequency and how it is those machines recollected that frequency, we have examples of it today. One of the examples is called a, um, a Tesla turbine. But you got to get the flat disk Tesla turbine, the steam one. And those things and that design that's funny and cool about it is if you have that electrostatic frequency and you have the right measurements on it, you can just sit there and then you go, and it just lives itself up. And when they used these back in that time, they would have small ones that were shaped almost like a pocket watch, and they would wait there, and when it started to spin, they know that they were operating the pyramid far away and that the Egyptian chariots could start to attack Israel. So yeah, they were basically using our own technology to try to annihilate us. <laughs>